राबोये रोजुल्लो हैदरबाद लगरं 3D प्रिंटिंग परिष्ट्रमकु हबगा मारन उन्दनी तलेंगान आईटी परिष्ट्रमल शक्का मद्री केठी आरनारू इवाला हैदरबाद हैटेक सिटी लो चरिगिना आवेक्ट एक्सपो लो मंत्री माटलाडारू रास्ट प्रबुत्तों 3D प्रिंटिंग आविश्कन रंगंपै प्रधानंगा दुरुष्टि सारिंचिन्दनी मंत्री चेप्पारू बारत लो टेक्नोलजी नी अबरिद्धि चेसी विदेशालकु अन्दिचडानिकी तामु कुरुष्चेस्तु � हैदराबाद लो एरोस्पेस डिफेंस वैध्य परिकरालू तयतर सदुपायाल अविरुद्धी शरवेगंगा जर्गुतुन्न दनी देशमलो वेगंगा अविरुद्धि चेंदुतुन्न रास्टाललो तलंगान वोकटनी मंत्र तेलिपारू स्टार्टप लकु नूतन आविश्कन � हैदराबालकु चेंदिन ओ स्टार्टप इडी वला वार्तलो निल्चिंदनी स्काइरूट एरोस्पेस समस्ता 3D प्रिंटेड इंचेंतो कूडना ओ प्राइवेट राकेट नू विशेवंतंगा प्रयोगिंचिंदनी मंत्री गुर्त चेसारू देशमलो तोली प्राइवेट राकेट प्रयोगंगा and the state government has always been a very key supporter of innovation by our startups, by industry, and even by our academia. In fact, uh, as a testament to the commitment of our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri K.C. Argaru, with his support and his unstinted um, encouragement, we have developed a robust innovation ecosystem that comprises of institutions such as NCAM, the National Centre for Additive Manufacturing, T-Hub, which is the world's largest technology incubator, TSIC, the Telangana State Innovation Cell, V-Hub, exclusively focused on women entrepreneurship, RICH, the Research and Innovation Circle of Hyderabad, which tries to bring about a synergy between industry and academia, TASC, the Telangana Institute, Telangana Academy for Skills and Knowledge, and T-Works, which is India's largest prototyping facility. And of course, our Emerging Technologies Wing and Image Center of Excellence. Image Center of Excellence stands for Innovation in Multimedia, Animation, Gaming and Entertainment. More than 1,500 startups have received support in the form of mentorship from the various institutions that I've just mentioned. Incubations and Industry Connects. And between all of these, they've been able to raise more than 1,800 crores of rupees over the last five years. T-Works. India's largest prototyping center has also been set up in the state and it is already functional. It, it is also an initiative of government of Telangana to create and celebrate a culture of hobbyists, makers and innovators who explore and experiment without the fear of failure. Our Hyderabad based startup which was in the news recently, a company called Skyroot Aerospace has successfully launched India's first private rocket powered by a 3D printed engine. The 3D printed super alloy engine has helped to cut production time by 95%, which is a matter of great pride for all of us. NCAM, the National Center for Additive Manufacturing, has been set up a technology development center of Usmania University, which is the oldest university in our state. Incidentally, NCAM has completed its first year of operation today and has achieved significant milestones over the last 12 months. The CEO, Sri Jaspreet Sidhu, in fact, I keep calling him Jaspreet Bhumara, uh, Jaspreet Sidhu, uh, by mistake here, you, you, I'm sure you're faster than him, uh, was hired during May this year, and under his guidance, the center has evolved well in terms of the onboard, in terms of onboarding strategic partners, drafting a clearly defined roadmap and charter, attracting talented human resources and getting all major global players excited to explore Hyderabad as a future destination for expansion within India. The center in partnership with the industry has worked hard to promote awareness in the country, enable more users to adopt additive technologies, skill development of identified resources and initiated 
establishing guidelines and standards forming the backbone for growth of the sector in our country. NCAM is managed by Emerging Technologies Wing of Telangana government, which always ensures that path-breaking technologies are given their due attention and programs are undertaken as per our framework, as per the requirements of the market. Telangana government has undertaken several projects that leverage emerging technologies. And they have always been the first of its kind of projects in India. And each of these projects are undertaken with the spirit of startups, industry as a partner, and not just as a service provider. From quick approvals to rapid brainstorming and problem-solving sessions, the government has always acted as an agile corporation. In addition to these projects, the government has always put, put in dedicated efforts in overall development of the ecosystem and enabling innovation and growth for the emerging technologies. Since the ecosystem mandate is larger, the government has been setting up dedicated institutions in partnership with industry bodies to augment our capacities in these programs. Now, we see 3D printing as a prime focus area over the next decade or so. The 3D printing industry, in terms of hardware, software, as well as post-processing equipment, is at an inflection point of accelerated growth. With the national reforms supporting the increased participation of the private sector in 3D printing industry, the Telangana state shall be supporting the innovation that is inbound to occur, that is bound to occur. In the past, we have seen several foreign private players amaze the world with technological advancements. But we know that majority of them are supported by brilliant Indian scientists and engineers. But now is the time technology that is developed by Indians is built in our own country and then exported globally for, uh, for, for, the, for the, uh, providing solutions for the rest of the world as well. It's, the, it's time that we occupy a larger share of the 3D printing industry that is expected to grow to almost $65 billion by 2026. Our capital city of Hyderabad is already uniquely positioned to become a hub for 3D printing industry and with the kind of synergies that exist with the aerospace and defense ecosystem, the medical devices industry here and of course in helping uh, achieve synergies with the global supply chain, we believe that we are ideally poised. With NCAM based at Hyderabad and the initiatives being undertaken and with the kind of, the ecos the kind of ecosystem that is present here, I am sure that it would further accelerate our vision to establish our, you know, not only our state but our country as a globally recognized destination in 3D printing technology. I request the representatives of startups from various parts of the industry and also the various research institutions and academia present here today to look at Telangana.